Okay, third grade, we're going to start our birch tree. So, Masterpiece Manager, you have a folder. You're going to open it up, give everybody a white piece of paper. Please return the folder to my box because your papers will be going to the drying rack. Supply Manager, the first thing you have in front of you is your pencil. Everybody's going to write their name and your teacher's code. If you forgot your teacher's code, look on the desk on the board behind Miss Lawson. Now, Supply Manager, you will not be getting paint until you have received all your pencils and erasers from everybody because everybody has written their name. And then when you have all the pencils and erasers, walk the cup up to me. Once I have your cup, then you may get your paint. Everybody else, take your white piece of paper, keep it vertical, top to bottom, in front of you. When the supply manager comes back with your paint, you can see there are three colors that are closed. That's because we're not using them. We're only using red, orange, and yellow. Supply manager will get your house, give everybody a brush, put the house off to the side. Now, these brushes tend to hold a lot of water, so it is very important that we don't get it wet until we need to switch colors. Also, they kind of lose their hair, that's fine. It's not gonna hurt it. Now, before we paint, we need to know where the middle line is. If you don't remember, the way we do that is take your bottom, fold it up to your top, crease it, and then open it. Now, we are not gonna stay at the middle. We are gonna end up coming down a little below the middle, but we do wanna leave a space at the bottom. We are doing birch trees. These are trees that you'll find in the snowy landscape. So at the bottom of your paper, we wanna leave it white, and we wanna leave that white because it's the snow. Now, we also don't want a straight line when we do our landscape from the sky to the ground, the horizon. We wanna leave it a little bit curved. So this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna take your paintbrush, dip it in your yellow, and right below that crease, you're gonna kind of paint a wiggly line. This line is showing me that my snow is below here and that my sky is above here. So now, any space above that, I'm gonna use the yellow still and I'm going to dab it on the area above my line. I'm even gonna dab right on top of the line. Now, I've done yellow. Obviously, I don't wanna use all of this because I have two more colors, so I'm gonna wash off my yellow it's very important that you bounce it off the bottom of your water cup and dab it on that sponge. Again, there's a lot of water on this brush. Next color we're gonna go to is orange. Now we're not drawing a line with the orange. All we're gonna do is the dabbing because the sun, the sky is creating this beautiful warm colors across the sky with the yellow and the orange and the red. Again, I can go into that line, but I don't wanna go below that line. Added some orange. I still have some space left, so I'm gonna wash off your orange, bounce it off the bottom of your water cup, and then dab it on your sponge. And the last color we're gonna finish with is your red. I don't need a lot. So, again, I'm just gonna kinda of work it in there with my orange and my yellow, making sure I cover up that white. Okay, well, you can see I'm coming to my end. I have my yellow, I have my orange, and I've dabbed it. We're not painting today, we are dabbing. We want the sky to look a little different. Once I've got all three, continue to clean off my brush. Please remember it's very important that your paintbrush does not belong in your water cup. It does not belong in your sponge. When it is done with, everybody put their paintbrush in the house with the hair on top. Then supply manager, make sure you get your paintbrush house on there and you're gonna walk the tray back to your counter. Everybody else, carefully take your beautiful sunset and you're going to walk to the drying rack. Now please remember, because other people are still washing their hands, notice I'm going around the blue table over here to get to the drying rack. And notice, here is my drying rack. It has my numbers already on it. It's already ready for us. So just like we discussed in our spleams, we need to make sure that we keep our paper vertical. That is horizontal. This is vertical. I am the first person. I lay it on one. Then I'm going to turn around, look for my soap, wash my hands. Please make sure you wipe up any mess that you have created. Dry my hands and then come to the floor to read a book until the timer goes off.